Day four, four starting right now. Have some cards and. Uh, kind of week part one. So what happened here? Uh, so we have these lists of numbers, which come in left half and a right half. Uh, I guess, what is the actual description of this? Left half is the good numbers, and the right half is the numbers that we have. Uh, so in part one, we want to count up basically the size of the intersection. Both parts really we care about the size of the intersection. Right? How many numbers that we have are also winning? Part one, uh, match one number, you score one point. If you patch two numbers, you score two points. Three numbers, four points. Five numbers, eight points, whatever, so on. Times two, though. Uh, and then in part two, so okay, so what do we do? With that? 
So we go through all the lines. Uh, we figure out which numbers are on the left, which numbers are on the right. We care about the size at the intersection. Um, and let's just like modify this to handle part one. So if val greater than zero, p1 is two to the val minus one. Two were well. So that should print out part one, five, two, oh, five, cool. Yeah. So figure out the size of the intersection and score like two to that size minus one. Uh, have some winning numbers. Um, and then in part two, we don't get points. Instead, we get more copies of the uh, So example is if 10 copies. Or 10 has five numbers, then you get five copies of 11, 12. So I'm going to keep track of this n dictionary, which is how many cards I have of each type. Um, so I start out with one card of each type. And uh, every match, I get to add one, well, following cards. Um, except it's not one, it's like one per number of copies that I have. So it's important. Like, I have a lot of cards at the end, right? Like, that's not that many, only six. Uh, you could probably actually get away with processing them one by one. But, like, in a slightly different version of this problem, you could have, you know, billions of cards or something to process them together. So, the point is, I'm processing, like, each uh, type of card instead of each individual card. So, I add the number of types of, you know, number of cards of this type rather than, like, going one by one. And then, Final question is just how many cards do you have at the end? It's just the sum. Uh, let's track. So explicitly track like type how many cards do we have. And the point is like uh, cards never give you more like lower number cards. They only give you higher number cards. So if you start from the lowest number and work your way up, there's no exactly how many cards you have of that. No way to get uh, or Cards later. Cards only give you copies of higher number cards. So, so, um, yeah, so that's all for day four.